Hello YouTube, welcome back to Night in the Woods. Now we get to find out if Tiffany is dead or in a coma or whatever. I don't understand why she didn't like talk to her mother or something. I'm like, I'm confused. Uh, I wonder if the choices you choose for her have anything to do <sighs> with this. Like maybe if I'd said no. <clears throat> I never and, thought and, like, about that. Huh? I never thought about that. Yeah, like maybe if I'd said no, I need to rest today. If she'd be like this. Crap. Greg. Holy crap, May? It's May! Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Look at B. I never she's seen her eyes so, that wide. Yeah, she's so mind blown right now. And then there's this little tweaker right here. Why is he even here? I don't know. Are they friends? I don't know. I thought you were gonna be dead. Not yet. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? Yes. No. The sound is good. I don't know who the fuck you are, dude. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So, she's just, like, wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Hang on, I gotta clear my throat. <coughs> I sure hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck are you? Both of you. Shh. So, how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At, At least. least. From out by the highway now, since pass possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't pol don't police our <laughs> lifestyle, B. Yeah, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not he'll if it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. All right. Yep. Well, as long as there's a plan. My spirit animal. Yep. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. Ooh. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah. Just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh. Yeah. Nice. This isn't good. I had this dream. Or like, a vision. Or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like, in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. So 
Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. Tiffany. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you too, sweetie. Angus. Angus, buddy. Give me some love. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd, like, puke out my actual guts. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Ooh. Greg... Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was, like, really worried. You were correct. To worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? Unless I do it. What even was that game? Werewolf, shred the gnar three. Wow. I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday <laughs> at home. Cool. You're weird. Yeah, that little bird guy is weird. Hey, B. How's it going? Is there a signal here? Wi-Fi. Ah, okay. I got, like, a mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is it with Possum Springs and no signal? Eh, out here in the hills. And we're not big enough to get towers. Or something. Huh. Hey. Yeah? If we're all still alive or whatever, we should, like, maybe hang out more. I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Eh. I'll take eh. That's a true friend right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, so am I getting on the computer? No? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't really know what you're doing right now. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing right now either. It's okay, guys. Did Just you listen notice to you the have your soothing. chips bleached? Oh, well, uh, yeah, I did notice that. Gonna, like, wander around your apartment. That's what it's here for. I want to make sure that I haven't missed anything. So while you're watching Tiffany limp around the apartment, you can listen to the soothing sound of my voice. Even though it's not that soothing. <sighs> and I wasted your time. I'm not apologizing. Time to go to sleep. Yep, time to go to sleep so that we can all wake up and die. Can we all hit the sack? Sure, dude. Hey! Everybody go to bed now. Holy crap. See y'all tomorrow. Who the fuck are you? You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh. Right. 
See ya. Bye, germ. Oh, that's his name. Oh, slumber party. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then, you said you went all crazy. But, like, that's not really the reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you, like, dated ghosts. I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. <laughs> Scarlet. Alistair or something like that. Scarlet. <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. It was just, like, pixels. Your computer broke? No, like, reality broke. The characters on screen? Like, I'd felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just... Me. Alone. And like that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. And it was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just... Dead. Dude. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. What could I have said? This all happened, like, the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there. I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... And he was just shapes, too? Just lines someone wrote? Like nothing there. And I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes. All over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh, God. I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he, like, wondered why. What he'd done. He was probably an asshole. No, dude. I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then... You had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hank's messed... Dr. Hanks messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does, obviously. Which I guess is understandable because he does, like, everything. I meant to ask you, did that journal shit, did it actually work? Kinda. Sorta. And, uh, realistically... Sometimes it helps. Sometimes I'll make you think of really sad things. Sometimes it makes you think of really dark things. But then once it's all out all over the paper, you kind of feel better temporarily. 
So, she's she's not wrong. Kind of works. It helps me, like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Wow. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry. Hmm. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue. Like, all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke. In my head. In my life. Dude, you should have called me. We could have come and rescued you. Would have kidnapped. Would have like kidnapped you. I like couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room in bed. That's that's horrible. I. I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And, and. Dude. Dude. Shh. You're going to be okay. I am so scared, Greg. I know. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. Please tell me I'm not the only one that has her eyes glued to that window. Mm. I... Where are you going? Tiffany. Bye. What the fuck are you doing? Love you. Uh Uh-uh. We're going back to that apartment and you... No. No. You can't go. You have to go that way, can't, don't you? I was not mentally prepared for this. I wasn't mentally prepared for her being a dumbass. No, like, these are some of the issues I actually deal with. I was not prepared to do this. Yeah. I oh, know. Not all of that conversation was acting. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. What? Yes. Nice shot. Wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Ah, 
You effing shot me! Hey, asshole, get away from her! Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I'm going to fucking... I wish I knew what he said. Kill you. <laughs> uh, fucking skull fuck you. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeesh. Ah. Oh. That's what it looked like. You okay, dude? Where did... Hey, jerk. Why the hell are you out here by yourself? that one this is all because of me oh yeah all your fault you definitely made these dudes creep around following us like kidnapping someone maybe yeah you did it with your effing effing mind control powers dude come off it he it it's in my dreams dude Dude, you don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. Are you not going to do that to me? You are not going to do that to me, okay? Okay. We've been best friends since forever. You big dumb idiot. And even if this was somehow all your, all you in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you to the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly. Clearly, we all would be. I shot a dude for you. Come on. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. And if we keep talking like this, I'm going to cry and... Man, I'm already there. Greg. <coughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sound like he went back to the mine. Yeah. What do we do? Follow him, I guess. You all wait here. I'll go. Dots. 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 Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to cover, corner him, and tie him up. Or something. Can you walk, May? I I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. Oh. Gates open. Oh, jeez. The hell? What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. I have to go down in there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one... something. Bang, bang. What if this is Casey? Oh. Or maybe it's Andy. The one she beat up with a bat. Yeah. <coughs> but it's okay. He is actually an asshole. Yay. All right, then. Jeez, spooky. I don't think we get to complain about Spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. 
That's spooky. <laughs> True. Nah, dude. We created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. So that's where Tiffany and I differ. I would have been like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Nothing. Nothing you need to know of. Oh, great. A big hmm. hole. Looks like you took the elevator down. Oh. So much for element of surprise. He's going to hear us coming a, a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, man, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I, I don't know what's going to happen down there. All right, then. Down we go together. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? Yes. How are we supposed to get down? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. <laughs> and I get bored. This is in the brochure. Well, yeah, there was a, a massacre here, so... Well, here we are. <coughs> <coughs> and that was a real cough. You okay, May? I have an inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, Tiffany? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah... We'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. Look, I, I, I'm i just saying. If it had been bothering me as long as it's been bothering her, and I was at the end of my rope, I would probably be doing the same thing she's doing. Amen. Like, I would just be tired of it and be like, okay, I'm going to get this over with one way or the other. Door. Good thing I have granddad's tooth. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Ghosties passing my homebound. Ah, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And, like, junk. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh, God. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Let's go. Oh, it's like children of the corn shit. I'm upset that I can't jump anymore. You like, hear me pressing the button? Nothing. I want to jump. 
I'm so glad she's got a cigarette in her mouth right now. Right. Oh, God, they're going. They're going deep. Okay, now it's leveling out. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple step. <sighs> Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. Like five. We're like five times scarier than you. Oh. Oh. I think we lied. Never win. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Ed, you'll do no such thing. I don't even know if that's right, but you're going to be Ed now. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. I'm going to do it again, bitch. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait. What the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest. Protect their own and their neighbors. Th then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's going to kill you. All of you are a part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Um. Okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well... He's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say yeah, um, in whatever. Not talking about him. Not talking about him. Wait, so you think that Ed... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? No. What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I've felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it? 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle... Best Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born. To close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here. That old spring. Used to be right above. Where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so. Some men from West Mine. Come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built. The new elevator. Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal just dug deeper and deeper till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place and Jim walks right into that hole and never hits bottom Ed calls down to Jim Jim don't answer but someone else does I know you heard that voice girl in dreams and in waking times 
So what brought you down here? So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones it takes a shining to. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they say Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger. And money came, too. Still a few of us left from back then. First time? First one into the hole by our own hands. <gasps> we own up to what we do. I was there. I was, too. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one who's going to be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society, <gasps> except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long. Oh my god. You bastards! Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. You... you... Killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. Sacrifice. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. <gasps> they had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor. Oh, God. Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Dude. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. All right, now. Throw it down right now, or I will shoot. 
What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I... 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 Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. Houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home. Become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job. Become a burned out brick box or hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone really you're like pitching us on this were any of you even miners back in the day any of you hurting now financially like or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying That don't matter. It does. This is real bad. This is insane. That one. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ed! You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Ed, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyways. (laughs) 
I... I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. My brain is in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we gonna do? We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. I'm just saying, you need to find whoever in the morning or whatever is hurt. It has a hurting arm. Just letting you know. I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow. Really? Too tired to explain it. Right. But... Like... They lost... What they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened, like, a long time ago. Or how they remember or, like, picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh. I thought I... Whoa, 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 whoa. X, 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 X. I kick your ass. Oh, fuck. Greg just saved my life. Holy God. Is everyone okay? May! 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 May, say something! (laughs) 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 Why are we laughing? (laughs) Dude, it's okay now. We missed that guy up, and he's not coming back. We're gonna walk out of this. So, how are we getting out of here? Shh. Let me rest. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Way to look on the bright side, Angus. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Duh. Welcome back, Tiffany. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. <laughs> Again, which is weird. (coughs) That was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. 
Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's, Let's get out of here. Oh, that's you. Get out of here. Why are you doing this? Okay, good. Yep, it's some fresh air, all right. <laughs> and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. <gasps> oh, but I'm not jumping. <gasps> you can run. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die in one foot of water. Right. What? I know what you are now. I think I knew before. But, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless and I lost more and more and more that's not getting better I want to be angry when I ran home from college on the bus I had this dream or maybe I saw it out of the window last leaf on the tree finally blown off I'm so scared all the time and the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. Was over long before I got here. So long. Hiding. Or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die. I want it to hurt. When my friends leave. When I have to let go. When this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on. Until I'm thrown off. And everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. Pretty amazing to be something, at least. <laughs> Shiverish. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... Tiffany! Dude, are you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh huh. There's a lot over here. My phone just... Did you smell that? I bet he did. So... Hmm. So you just... Th that wasn't you just like... Keep going that way. Oh, this way? Yeah, keep going that way. What, do you want to see what's over here? I gotta see if there's something over there. Okay. Oh, guess not. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. 
is I'm going to go back to the middle of this puddle and end the episode because this one was an hour long and they will be until the series ends, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.